Every bit of this is hand work. There's no machines. I'm the fourth generation Del Grego working on the Parker shotgun. My great grandfather was retained by Charlie Parker. He was uh, in Germany at the time. Charlie Parker brought him to America, put him to work. He redesigned the single trigger and installed it. It's beautiful wood. Remington bought Parker out in 1931. 1939, they brought 31 employees up to continue making the gun, one of which was my grandfather. After World War II, they stopped even repairing them. They offered to, from the senior employee to the junior employee to buy everything going business. Nobody did it. The second time around, my grandfather just finished his house, gave up all his retirement and went in business. And we're still here today. This is why we work on Parkers, because we do have all the parts. They're a phenomenal side-by-side -side gun. They'll take an average shooter and make them better because the barrels are so good. We just refinish them, put new stocks, put them in new gun condition. We're taking all the blemishes out. And when the gun leaves here, it's exactly the way it left the Parker factory. And here are some of the most famous, important Parker guns that were ever made. Here's my dad with two of the Invincibles. I only know Parker shotguns. I could work on other guns, but it'd be a lot harder. Where Parker's, after a while, you close your eyes and you got the feel. The feel of the gun. If guns could talk, Parker guns could talk, you would be here a year listening to all the stories. Some of the original Parker records where the guns were ordered. It's not a job, it's an honor to work on these guns. It's a privilege that I was very lucky to uh, be born into. It's just the way we live.